Siegel Theater Center, our little center in the middle of Manhattan in Midtown where every second store is closed, uh, restaurants are closed, uh, businesses are out, uh, uh, out of uh, their spaces and um, we still do not know what will happen, how this city will digest everything. Um, announcements of openings have been done in July 4th. Uh, people think maybe September 15th shows will be back up, but we are all skeptical and we are all waiting. We are seeing, but there are great signs that perhaps we are turning um, a corner. And, um, and of course, we, we now really think, what is it uh, important at the moment? What does it mean to be a theater artist uh, during the time of Corona, for the time after Corona? What has happened? What has changed? What will change? What should change? And artists have been always part of change we need. Artists have been side of uh, the fight for freedom and democracy on the right side. They have anticipated the future and they helped us going through different stages. And certainly this is a, a, a new world, a new stage we are entering in. And art has something to say, but not now. It doesn't have anything to say, we all think. And, um, and from the conversations we had with over 150 artists from over 60 countries in the world, um, we had one of the most insightful, I think, um, um, comments that helped us, helped me and our listeners to, to deal and think and to come to terms and to find meaning in this. Today is a special day uh, for us. Um, we have a, a great artist um, uh, with us, one of the world's great theater artists in the terms of chess. He's a grandmaster of the game um, who does his very own style, his very own work in film and in theater, Kirill. So Rebrannikov is with us. Uh, Kirill, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Such amazing words about me, but look, I'm uh, I'm guy who just works and looking my own way in, in theater and arts in, in general, and it's not about my... Please don't, don't put me okay. on that. Okay. Uh, Kirill, where are you right now? I'm in Moscow. Uh, I'm preparing the new film and... Uh, 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 Moscow is, is uh, opened, by the way. Uh, a lot of people working uh, and theater are open for 50% of the audience. So, but it's much better than nothing. Uh, I understand how uh, the, the, the whole world is in jealousy about what's happening in Moscow, I understand. And, but uh, look, it, 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 it's, it's, really, it's really hard because we know, the, in, we know what happened in comparison with the uh, previous period when everything was locked, uh, closed, and uh, uh, there was no way to, um, to work at all for, for artists, for theater people in, in Moscow. Is, it, it was a nightmare. And uh, the moment uh, when the figures uh, went down, uh, it was a very, 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 a lot of happiness about this. And now it's 50% of the audience, but we working and where uh, I just yesterday had a rehearsals of uh, um, the production we didn't play for almost two years because of Corona and because of different situations of pregnancy of, 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 of the actresses. So uh, we refreshed the, the old production called Kafka. It's about the Kafka life. And today it's like opening right now in, in the moment we're talking, uh, we're speaking with you. The, the, in theater in Gogol Center, they uh, starting to play um, first uh, performance in the row because we have, have three. Uh, and um, it's 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 very very good because audience uh, uh, the people uh, are, are in Moscow uh, are really tired of lockdown and they're very uh, they're missing theater and it's quite understandable and clear and very very easy to to feel this from the from the stage because people are so happy to be in touch with the with the actors with the performers and it's very special feeling really amazing it's really good it's it must be evening right you said so it's open it's what time yeah, is it in moscow? It's, uh, moscow it's seven o'clock 
and uh, the performance is like four hours and uh, we we normally start eight o'clock but today we stayed a little bit earlier to not to uh, finish uh, late at night so i hope the seagull talk didn't take you away from watching normally i guess you would be I, I, it's normally i can't help them now because they they're like in this open space or they they're playing and uh, we'll see the, the result, we'll see the uh, applause in the end and we understand how it, how it works. But uh, anyway, uh, uh, it was kind of a successful uh, moment for, for our theater when the, the sold out was for four minutes. It was kind of first time in our life when first minutes online uh, mm -hmm. selling the, the, the tickets and it was sold out for, for four minutes. Four Incredible. minutes. It, uh, it's the question, do we need a theater, you know, after Corona, I guess? Of course, it, it's the best answer. Of course, people, uh, it's, it's so e easy to feel here that if people are, are so tight uh, about sitting at home and uh, being with each other uh, or close to, to inside yourself, you know, uh, eyes to your depth uh, and to your darkness and uh, for people to visit theater, to go to exhibitions, uh, nah, it's kind of a word or um, happiness and it's, 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 re it's really good. Fantastic, it's really good. Also quite uh, symbolic that uh, a Kafka-esque work uh, is yeah, yeah. Kafka, time of Corona. You know, is very Russian author, by the way. I hope it's very American as well. Kafka, mm -hmm. by the way, Kafka wrote a novel called America, yeah. being n never being in America. Yeah. It was his imaginarium, it was his imagination, and he created his own America and described the street, the place, the, the characters, but he'd never been in America in his life. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, what he described in his novels, it's very, very close to what we have in Russia and probably what we have in Europe now. So uh, it's, uh, he's like a prophet and we, 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 we made this, I, I, I staged it, uh, production about the prophet of uh, who told a lot of uh, uh, a, a lot of about 21st century from 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 20th century his vision uh, about or the f vision of future is really dark but sometimes it looks like what we have today yeah yeah life is stranger than fiction what we went through was unimaginable and for us, you know, at least in the West, who um, didn't grow up with uncertainty, I think, uh, I think, of course, uh, Russia went through extreme changes too, uh, and perhaps has some experiences to deal with such transformations. And for all our listeners who don't know um, enough about Kirill, I have to admit, I also never saw a production in person. It never came here to the US. I'm living here for such a long time. So it's a uh, Something that's missing, and as we said earlier, there is a. Look, Frank, so sorry to interrupt you, but I worked in America in Harvard for three oh. years in drama school in drama a school. Slavsky kind of program, and I worked with American um, students, with American young actors, and it was an amazing experience, and uh, I loved it a lot, by the way. So. Is it with Robert Woodruff still? Uh, uh, so, 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 sorry, Robert, at the time when Robert Woodruff was at the ART, or um... I, yeah, I think it was his time. It was it, yeah. it was his time. We we uh, we saw each other, and uh, it, it was kind of a special time for ART. Uh, but uh, Harvard was a very nice place, and uh, summer uh, in Harvard, su summer in Boston is very, was very good uh, for me as well. Yeah, and I think TDM, the theater, drama, and media initiative, is really uh, alive and interesting. I like that it's a very intellectual region yeah. of America, and the very special people, very smart, very clever, very mm -hmm. kind of uh, involved in culture, in cultural life. So it, it was, it was, it was interesting. 
Yeah. So just to give um, for, for all those who weren't lucky enough to be your student uh, in Harvard, Carol is a, has been working um, as a stage director at the Rostov on Don Theater since 1994, in the last millennium, even he looks so young. Um, he's the author and director of numerous production at the great Moscow Arts Theater, the Pushkin Theater, so Remnick Theater, the Theater of Oleg Tabakov, Tabakov, who I once met, uh, also Helicon Opera, the National Theater of Latvia, and he has staged next to all his plays. He staged operas, serious work in opera and ballet, and has a vast experience in film and television, perhaps uh, one of the few that uh, really moves between film, television, theater was kind of ease and is informing his work um, out of it, which for sure in the time of Corona helped him to, uh, to find also a new ways. He's a, one of the artistic directors of the Festival School Territory, and I would like to know more about this. And he is the founder and artistic director of the Project Platform uh, from 2011 till 14. And he's the founder and artistic director of the Gogol Center since 2012, a most significant place uh, in uh, Russian theater history. You have to change the name. It uh, is from all what we know the most, was, was the most alive place, the most significant place of contemporary theater, of contemporary means of hybrid forms, new forms in the tradition of modernity, in the tradition of post-modernity, but it is uh, a contemporary uh, work in the best sense. And um, so Kirill, um, the time of Corona, uh, what ha happened in the last year? What did you do? Oh, 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 uh, it's uh, uh, always difficult to, to have a talk in terms of past, but uh, look, what I, what I did, I finished the film. We managed to, to shoot before the to, uh, global lockdown. It called Petrov's Flu, based on contemporary Russian prose. And um, uh, it will be released, um, uh, I, I hope, in the summer this year. And um, uh, I finished operas. Uh, I, I made, I made, um, I prepared um, Parsifal for Vienna Staatsoper. It's a very, very big production with uh, global stars, uh, Jonas Kaufmann, Elina Garance, Ludovic Tessier, um, uh, and others, and uh, um, I, I finished. What, what else? I, I, you know, it's it's good question. What I did last year, but I, 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 I did a lot, but I probably I forgot about uh, to mention something. I, um, I made, I made. By the way, I, I think it was last year. Uh, I finished uh, the production in Gogol Center called the uh, the Hangman. Uh, based on M Martin McDonagh's uh, uh, latest play, he worked. He he he, he wrote for uh, London National Theatre, and he allowed me to rewrite it for uh, for Russia, because uh, we have um, special um, kind of uh, relationship with uh, with this topic. Uh, I mean, it's it's about people who. Um, kill other people, uh, uh, I mean, hangman and uh, person who kills the um, uh, prisoners, let's say, or who committed into to, to being killed. In, nowadays in Russia, the uh, uh, death uh, kind of, according to a decision of the jury is uh, is banned. Is uh, we have the moratorium, uh, but it, it it existed till 1989 or 80 or 1986 probably, and so we 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 we, we uh, I made the, the uh, McDonald's story about the hangman uh, in UK into Russian realities. So uh, those completely re uh, rewritten and um, it's big production in, in, in Moscow. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I did, I did, I did a lot. I, I wrote few scripts um, and uh, we are pre preparing the new 
Mm. Mm. By the way, it, it will be new production based on uh, Limonov's uh, novel, Limonov is famous Russian uh, um, author already dead, but he, um, his first novel in, in America was That's Me, Eddie. Uh, it's famous uh, Russian punk novel, let's say, very crazy, crazy character, crazy novel, and probably it will be kind of adaptation for for for, for the film um, based on 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 this literature. Um, what a, a lot. Too much. I, I, forgot, I, I forgot about something, but I, 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 if, if I remember, I'll tell you. How did you feel in that time? Were you in your apartment? How was it for you emotionally as an artist, a working artist? I, I, I had I had a rehearsal of of lockdown, of my personal lockdown uh, a few years before, and um, now in 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 global lockdown I was prepared, so uh, uh, I, I I know how to uh, behave and what to do. I, I even made kind of few devices of, of uh, Kirill Serebrenikov for the people for the current situation uh, with lockdown. What to do, how to behave, or how uh, um, to, to use time in the best way. Um, uh, it was like, like 10 points. Uh, to read a lot, to learn something to, 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 to new foreign language, for instance, to, to uh, watch films uh, I knew, you, you never never seen before, and ne never watched before, to um, practice uh, to, 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 to practice some physical activities, I mean yoga and something else, and some, some something else to do to uh, look into yourself very precisely and deeply and uh, make a po uh, use this pose for, underst for understanding what, what you're gonna do in, in the nearest future. Because it's a kind of point for changing the life and for changing everything and it's not bad by the way to, to, so the, 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 the advices were about how to find or to look for the best from this terrible tragic situation not to say not to say okay oh I'm we're, we're, we're destroyed lay down and die no um, let's find something good. You know, sometimes the stops or the pauses uh, are, are very helpful for, for the life. It's a time for uh, a rearrangement of our thoughts, uh, of refreshment of our kind of inside um, uh, structure, uh, to thinking about uh, the way we're going to live or going to walk in the future. So it's it's not bad to have a pause in general. Mm. I mean, could you share, I mean, not everybody knows, you said you had your own Corona uh, uh, confinement before in a way. Yeah, 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 it was like, it was, house, here. It, it was house arrest, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the people can find everything about what happened with me before. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, um corona it's it's a it's a global kind of turn turn and i feel that uh, mm, i actually feel that it's our uh, mm, we have now we have kind of we are sharing our experience and it's really good because uh look we were so separated we were uh, so uh, far from each other. I mean, theater people or artistic people, we're doing our things. We were in different places of the globe, but now we have a, too much things in common. We have our common experience and it, 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 it all makes us closer to each other. And uh, the problems of each other are more understandable now for, 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 for the others. So it's not bad, by the way. 
were much closer now to 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 each other than before. Hmm. Do you feel um, there is a change? And we are thinking about what's going to happen to New York. What will the city? We love this city. It's a great city, and it will come back. We yeah, I've been it. It's an amazing city. It's an amazing place, and it's so good for artistic spirit because it's spirit of freedom in each corner in each second of it it's true how is this what, what, in moscow how is that in that year or uh, it, did it it did something change what do you see for your city uh moscow now is very good by the way uh i mean uh, in 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 terms of uh kind of good city a lot of people theater are opened uh museums are opened uh, uh, of course there is uh, there is no freedom of spirit uh, the, 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 the spirit of freedom sorry uh but uh, for i'm not sure that a lot of people are searching for for this spirit uh, sometimes for the people uh uh it, it, more important the the feeling of comfort and uh being safe let's say and um, it's quite opposite to to what we're looking for like artists you yeah, know we artists always are searching for something different from the other people uh we're always minority and uh, the, for the, the people like to uh, prefer to be uh, in safe situation, we are putting ourselves into craziest things, trying to play craziest uh, tragedies or comedies, something very ex ex extreme, something very uh, bloody and blah, 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 blah. So we all like artists looking for abnormal things and here people are looking for normal safe quiet blah 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 uh situation of course uh, with a special with in in conditions uh, of corona and with special uh rules and uh, uh regulations and so on and so on Hmm. As, as I understood what, it, what you asked me. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that, is, that is, you know, um, interesting to hear. I mean, we're going to have... What, more... what, to, what, to be, what to be with New York, how to leave and what to do in New York after? You'll see, you'll do, you'll be so happy when everything will be open. The people will hug each other. They will go to the museums. They will go to the theaters. I'm... Uh, I, I'm sure that that the life will be more, even more joyful. Mm. Uh, uh, the people, uh, I, I hope the vaccine, uh, the vaccine will help uh, to 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 feel safe. Um, in in Moscow, a lot of people are um, we are sick. By the way, I've been sick as well. You had Corona? Yeah, yeah, I had Corona. Uh, it, it was not really easy because I had the problems with the lungs, like 40% of it was um, in, uh, under, under virus, under Corona. But uh, we managed to, to overcome it. And a lot of people ha had no symptoms uh, in general. So. Uh, as far as I understand, without uh, natural um, vaccination of of the population, there is no way to to go ahead. Uh, vaccine, I mean the the new kinds of vaccine, of course, will help and will make it faster. But uh, in general, we we are. Uh, in front of the new uh, reality and the reality is uh, that next time next moment will be other viruses other problems other other things 
Um, and uh, of course, it, it seems to me that it's kind of a rehearsal of new, new era uh, of uh, being of man mankind, mm -hmm. of new existence. Mm -hmm. uh, don't let, let, let's not to use uh, terms bad or worse or good or it's it's like this. Let's take it. Let, let let's accept it, and let's think how to overcome, how to to build the new life, the new art, the new theater, the new communication with the people, and uh, that's it. Mm -hmm. Russia is such a great country for theater, one of, you know, the world powers in a way over centuries, like, you know, theater in Japan, Germany, France, England, you know, it's one of the great, uh, the, the, also the yeah. audience that love theater. Do you think, what do you think theater is, should be doing now or is doing? Is something changing? Uh, is your role changing? Does, will audience expect different things? Artists? What does, what will theater do? Look, I, my conception or my feeling about this is that theater uh, starts to be important when when the people get used to go to the theater. So it's kind of um, it comes from childhood when people are taken, young, uh, small the, the kids are taken to the theater and get used to spend their evening time watching something from the stage, it gives a kind of theater vaccine for the whole life. Uh, or um, vaccine, let's say, or virus, theater virus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> theater virus for the whole life. And uh, Moscow, uh, it, it's not about the whole Russia. Moscow, St. Petersburg, some other big cities, they're of course theater centers. There are a lot of theater, there are a lot of theater life, but it's not about the whole Russia. In Russia, there are places where people are not get, um, are, are not about theater, in, into theater at all. They're mo more about movies because it's the only ac acceptable or uh, reachable place it's cinematographer, uh, I mean, cinema theater. And um, uh, Russia is really huge, but the uh, main theater life exists, exists in, 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 in Moscow and, th uh, and few um, big cities. Um, I've, I, uh, I, I, I started to um, dream about theater uh, since um, my like 15 years old in Rostov in South of Russia. When I've, I, I uh, actually, it was not because I visited the local theater. It was because I saw Peter Brook's production called Carmen. Carmen, yeah, I saw uh, it. Yeah. yeah, you saw it, and I saw it by video on on video. It was not a live production, but I, I was so sh was shocked by um, smell of freedom, by uh, uh, artistic freedom, by something un un unbelievable uh, in acting in 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 this musical opera production that uh, it, 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 I, I felt so, uh, uh, something like obsession about it and I of course wanted to repeat. Then I saw uh, Taganka, um, a famous Russian theater um, from Soviet Union, uh, which was a kind of point of freedom and of contemporary of modern theater. It was Taganka theater. The Stanislavsky theater was all, 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 always uh, um, classical theater, theater of traditions. And Taganka, it was mod about modernity, about uh, experimental uh, things, very artistic, very uh, 
social orientated and uh, and by uh, and uh, and so on and so on. So uh, I, I I saw few, uh, few uh, Taganka performances and it was uh, kind of I was infected. And uh, then I, I understood that theater is a great, great media, media, and a great um, uh, possibility for people to be together, to feel uh, the unity, let's say, or kind of um, closing, how to, how to express, the, the, the feeling together being together and uh, uh, I, I just wanted to repeat it to repeat and to find my own way and to 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 to, to work in theater um, I have I have no special education by the way I, I I'm a uh, physician uh, I'm physics sorry I'm I, I, not physician the physician is a doctor it, I'm, mm -hmm. a, I'm, a, I'm scientist I finished uh, university as a scientist so um uh, i have a special degree in physics and uh, i uh, but i i started theater as a, a, a in amateur way uh, in university and then i it turned to, uh, kind of moved into um professional and then i moved to moscow and started to work in professional theaters for at first in uh um center of contemporary drama and uh, directorship uh, um it's it was a tiny tiny theater in moscow but he worked with contemporary drama the only place uh, about modern uh theater in the beginning of the 25th century in moscow and then uh we uh the people who started the theater um, uh, became Kind of headliners uh, of 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 theater in theater making, and uh, a lot of actors and directors from the center uh, started to work uh, and collaborate with the big classical traditional repertoire theater uh, in Moscow in in Russia in general uh, as in Germany as in. France, we have repertoire theater. Uh, it means that uh, every day we have new productions uh, in the list of in in, in the in, in the repertoire, let's say. And uh, mm, uh, we have permanent troops. We have uh, mm, we, we, uh, we play a lot of productions uh, per month. Mm, and uh, for instance, in Gogol Center today, we have uh, one performance on the big stage and uh, another performance on this uh, ch chamber stage. So, it, it, and that's it. Uh, almost every day we have the same. So, uh, a lot of theater, a lot of people watching it, a lot of uh, actors, a lot of work for actors. And uh, when I worked in the uh, US, uh, the, the main sorrow was I felt uh, in the very end of our program because I understood that all these amazing actors, all these amazing guys, amazing uh, young professionals, uh, uh, they're so uh, crazy about real theater. They're, they're so crazy about, about playing in the theater every day but they have no chance because america is more about cinema uh, and uh, they, it's more about broadway it's a, more about commercial theater and there are there were no almost uh, the 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 professional uh, theaters for artistic work and it was very pity and uh, uh, it, it was really pity it was really pity because the, the, the actors were incredible, some of them. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And uh, we just had Chris Myers, a New York actor, who's a stage actor, but also is in Spike Lee films or others. He says, even if he is in one of the good, great theaters, like the public theater, New York theater workshop, it's after taxes and everything, it's like $300 a week or 400. He said, I can't, I'm, I am even working, which is hard to get the job, but even if I work, I won't even be able 
um, to pay my rent and um, oh, yeah. it is, it's, it's stunning um, that all the complexities. What economy, it's all about money, I understand, but you know, in Russia, theater is uh, mainly, mainly supported by the government. Yeah. In Europe as well, in Germany, in, uh, the, the, in, in Germany and France, the, uh, 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 the causes uh, su supporting is, is really huge. Yeah. In um, uh, Russia, Russia is, is not uh, such rich, uh, but we, we are still so it's in, in Siberia, as you say, people they are big, you know, theater communities and outreach there. And um, but my question, Kirill, for the Google, I don't know how deeply you are involved after all these these, these shake ups and um, and when you had to leave or were forced to leave. Um, is the Google doing something different? Let's say it goes back to 80% or 90 or 100 and a half a year. Will the Google go on as it was before? Say we already were doing what we wanted to do or do you think this time brought a visible change? Something in the experience and the producer it will be different. <coughs> um, what is good? Good is that we uh, uh th that that the actors are really hungry about it because they had a lack of everything and they're uh, immediately were involved into into the work it was very good uh, uh, so we have three or four productions in work i mean new productions uh uh sack what what is bad Bad that we built a lot of international communications. And for instance, we made a production called De Cameron based on, on Boccaccio, Boccaccio's novel. It, it was co-production with the uh, um, Deutsche Theater in Berlin and, uh, and uh, Google Center Moscow. We made this production and played it in Berlin. It was the last day be before lockdown. It, it was symbolical sense, of course, because the Cameroon is connected with a uh, yeah, a global uh, disaster uh, uh, of uh, 17th century. But uh, anyway, we played uh, the last production, and global lockdown started. We they closed everything, and now we are for almost a year and a half. We are waiting for the possibility to play it in Moscow. And now the communication and the relationship between countries are so bad. And we have no, uh, we have diplomatic uh, 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 and other problems with the, 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 the other countries. And uh, all borders are closed. So the bad is that the internet, theater is international thing i believe that uh i wanted i worked a lot and all this territory festival and other festivals you mentioned and platform of uh project it it was a kind of uh, the, the, it it was specially it, 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 um it, it, it was a, the tools um, there were the tools for communication for do, putting people together to, to make international projects and so on and so on, to make Russia part of the international life, of the international theater, to make the global theater part of Russian theater. And it was a huge job for a lot of years. And of course, uh, what we have to, today, the pandemic destroyed almost everything. And it, it's like Mandel. I, I'm Buddhist, so for me, it's quite understandable and clear so you built mandala then you destroy mandala and you built it again so now from the moment you you uh, will be all released from lockdown we're gonna start to work on our collaborations and our kind of connection from zero and but we need to start to, to work on it again and again and trying to to find the level uh, at least the level uh, was which was before the 
pandemic time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, interesting. This what often in talks also here comes up that America now also is very worried. Already there was not a big global outreach to great places like BAM and uh, Asia Society for a while. Lincoln Center Festival, which unfortunately closed for no good reasons. The Metropolitan Theater is closed. Look, it's disaster. Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. They close the theater, so they they will not. I I'm afraid they will not collect the orchestra again. Because all yeah. people they were from different countries. They came uh, yeah. to New York. They rent the apartment, mm -hmm. leave, and blah blah blah. But now, how, what to do? It's, yeah. it's a term. And they did not support the artists as they should have. But the idea, and America is worried, you know, what if, even if in America everybody is vaccinated, but people from Latin America, from the world, from India, they can come in. Is it going to be more, more uh, isolated, perhaps, um, as, it, um, as it was before? So I think your, your, your concerns are this is very, it is a, a very, very real. My question, I don't know where you were, let's say, um, I don't know if the world word is right, the collapse uh, of the civil union or the opening of the wall, as Thomas Oberender always says, it's the opening of the wall, not the fall. We fought for this. There was a movement. Um, and he's right. But what happened in that moment in, in Russian stages? I think I remember Sebastian Kaiser saying theaters were closed at the time. Some of them were even almost like flea markets or people you know would exchange goods and then it opening again. Was that similar to now that kind of trans the change theater went through oh look i'm i'm not a prophet in this i know that uh, russia uh, is not really such a rich as america and we we are not able to close business and to close everything for such a long term as you did mm. so there is no way that's why they opened everything some moment and pretend that nothing happened with the people. But uh, at the same moment, the level of immunization and vaccination was really high. And they uh, used, I uh, hear, I mean, I mean, in Russia, they used uh, Sputnik and other vac uh, vaccines for uh, getting people um, immune. But uh, it was it was much earlier than in Europe and then in, in the US. So we're like, few months is working and it's 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 happiness of course uh what to do have no idea have no idea the, the uh, you mean you mean what to do to how to how to uh how to start everything from the, zero or what? The, the experience you had if i understood right you know after that uh, 89 90 that clubs theaters were also, were they closed? Did they reopen? Did it change um, the system? Was was it something similar as now? But look, we were working even under lockdown. We were preparing uh, the performance. Everybody was working. Yeah. So we are. We have something in the pocket. In so the here pocket. Complete, and nobody works basically. Theaters closed, so nobody pays. Even playwrights who got commissioned. Theaters called them up and said, please give us the commission back. I mean, outrageous things. Mm. So yeah. you do this all the time. In, from your apartment, how did you do it? Are you, you through Zoom or how did you work? Uh, I worked uh, via Zoom with uh, Vienna Staatsoper, but the Vienna Staatsoper uh, uh, in, in Vienna was uh, very uh, hard lockdown, by the way, but yeah. the theater worked. Each day they started with the corona tests. It was like, and you can imagine, 500 people uh, working. It's orchestra, choir, uh, choir uh, singers, and technicians. It's like almost 500 people. A every day, it's, it was a line of, of people to the rooms where they check, or kind of uh, express, PCR or express test for Corona. And so after this line, after this Corona testing, we start to rehearse and rehearse the, the whole day because there, there were no performances. And they made the production, now it's available on um, Arte concert uh, for the empty 
audience, for the cameras. And uh, we, we, we released it and I, I thought that, oh, it's not bad, by the way. We wasted, we, we spent uh, six uh, weeks for preparing the huge production of four hours of music, Wagner. Uh, it's really hard, but now it's available for the globe. It, it's like, you know, Opera Netflix. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's look like this. Probably it's kind of future uh, way out for, for, for the other people to prepare theater, version of theater for, for the streaming, for the broadcasting. Anyway, it will give the work for the actors, for the schauspielers, for the dancers, mm -hmm. for the singers, for, for, for a lot of people involved in, in making theater. But of course, nothing will replace a live theater, nothing. And uh, uh, in Moscow now, when people can attend the theater and look at the stage and look at the actors playing in a live way, sharing energy, sharing emotions with each other, it's, it's, it's kind of um, happiness and all people um, uh, missing it a lot. But still, this opera production, the Wagner from Vienna, will have a longer life and it will be survived perhaps better. Yeah, than yeah. 30 years. But um, tell me, so you were, where we are talking now, you were sitting in front of your computer and you directed the opera, which was... Directed, I was sitting in front of computer for t t 12 hours a day. 12 hours a day, and it was done for no audience, but it will live on in film. How was that experience? What did you learn? Night, man. I don't want to repeat it again. <laughs> but anyway, it's... it's it, it was it, a nightmare, you say. It, it was, was a nightmare, nightmare. but it, it's a way out. 12 it's, hours, yeah, incredible. It, it's what to do if there is no other options. Mm. Okay. We had Toshiki Okada, a, a Japanese a director, a great one and playwright. He said what he discovered, he said all of a sudden me as director had the same space on the screen as the actor. <laughs> he said, I wasn't it's, used to that. I, I, I had, I, I had, I had, you I had with the opera. I had, Did you find something different, something I had, I that had surprised you? Slight, slightly different experience. I had eye to eye link with each singer. So I had a lot of personal rehearsals. Oh, uh, it's really good. But I have uh, physically, I have my friend and co-author and co uh, my choreographer Evgeny Kulagin, who but who who've been in Vienna physically. And why uh, I I didn't start from the main thing. I didn't tell the main secret it's possible for musical theater because musical theater and all physical actions on stage are connected with the score, with the notes. And uh, uh, in before, for a long, long time, I'm preparing, I'm writing down each gesture, each mise-en-scene, each, I don't know, turns of the body and put it down in, in, uh, in the score. And of course, to having the score, uh, the, the th singers and the uh, actors in uh, uh, other um, uh, plays uh, on the globe can do what I, what I want. In drama, I am not sure it's possible to, to make the, uh, sorry, sorry people, because I, I didn't tell the main thing that it's acceptable for music theater mainly. For drama, I'm not sure that it's really uh, works hmm. badly. Yeah, how interesting. So like lab annotation next to the instruments and the voice, you have a score for the gestures. Well, of course, Time gestures. For every note. I have, score, I have uh, uh, pictures, I have uh, schemes, I have um, kind of sketches for everything. And it's connected with the, uh, you know, with the notes, with the score, that's easy for for everyone to to understand how to how to work. And plus, eye to eye link, 
I can explain what I want and what uh, how what feelings and what emotions uh, actor needs to express and blah blah blah. Incredible, Un unthinkable. Only two years ago, uh, to do something a production with five hundred people who get tested every day. You are for twelve hours on Zoom. It will be done with no audience, but filmed perfectly and will be a record. Um, Carol, if I, if I may ask you. Um, um, you said you, you studied physics, uh, you trained to be a scientist for whatever reason, but then you were drawn to this. Wh why do you make art? Why do you think, even in the time we have now, you said, you know, we need it. Why, why is it important? Why, what, what moves you? Why do you do this incredible effort? Like you said, just now with the app, with, what is it all about? It's easy to explain because I always felt that in art, in theater, I can get something uh, untouchable, uh, something invisible, uh, not material. As scientists, I understand that a lot of very special uh, worlds exist everywhere around us. We we can't touch them, we can't approach them. We, they can be fixed only with special techniques, special um, kind of very complicated measurements. But in theater, it's the same. Theater is a place where invisible becomes visible. And all these invisible things, all these thoughts, ideas, uh, very special feelings, uh, energies, and and blah blah blah, and other other. It's 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 a point. It's a plot. It's a um, kind of um, not material material for for making for theater makers, and that's of great. In, it it was of great interest for me. Uh, being far away, away from material, closer to not reachable, uh, such easy as this table or wall or door. Um, to, uh, waiting and looking for uh, invisible uh, world, let's say. Mm. And is your is your work almost always connect us to, lit, to literature? Is that is, you have a strong or to... uh, look? I, I I always I I am from the generation as you are I, I, I guess Frank. Uh, we are more connected with literature, but I do uh, all possible to connect with vis visuality because visual theater is what what I adore and what I love a lot, and try to do something more in visual way, uh, less words, less. Literature, less phrases, less speaking, more body, more dance, more music, more international form forms of communication and um, of, 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 of theater, understandable for for a lot of people. I think it's very important for 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 new era of uh, post-corona times. Mm hmm. Mm. To, to create that that hybrid from what you have done for for a long time actually um. yeah because literature is, look look uh, um, it was normal that theater was quite provincial because it's it was more local but probably now after corona uh, we all need to make it to to share the to share it to to share theater with, with each other and so to get it international, to get it understandable for everyone. I think it's it's kind of mission. Otherwise we'll lose theater as a, as a, as a human activity. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's quite a profound statement that... I like, I, 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 I'm absolutely happy uh, uh, when I got your invitation because uh, for me, it's really, important to to get people and to have a talks to to share our thoughts to share our 
ideas uh, how to how to avoid how to work how to for instance now we are working on the um performance for hamburg theater uh talia theater it's famous very famous uh place uh, on the map on the theater map of the europe and it'll be collaboration with actor with russian actors and german actors uh, so we'll, we'll play bilingual, why not? And it will be on Avignon Festival in French, famous French festival. So it's, I try to, to uh, kind of get rid of, of this language ghetto uh, and problems with languages. I'm sure that it's completely possible and English, uh, UK actors, US actors, Russian actors, German actors, they can do something in together and make international uh, global theater uh, understandable for the audience from different places, from different countries. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's, that is important what you said, that perhaps this time of Corona remind us that it has to be accessible, that we do it for the people, that there's a big need and we have to adjust, perhaps, you know, a break that uh, he wrote for the children of technological age. We have now children of digital age, um, as I say, you know, so how we how do we connect to that? And one way is how you do one question. A lot of what comes up in talks here in the US, but also globally, is the idea of community that people say um, on one hand, it has to be global, but we also learned or we also feel we need to be more, pay more attention to our local community, the surroundings, the neighborhood. How is it in Google Theater? Where are you situated? Is there, is there something that you feel that is changing in that sense? Uh, look, Google is a very special place. It's really far from uh, um, theater district in well, Soho. In the center, yeah. it's, it's a little bit aside, but uh, it's very popular. We, ha we, held, we have total sold out because it's kind of place for young generation because it, from the very beginning I decided to make um, something some project uh, mm, at, attractive for 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 the people who probably never been in theater before be, be, because it's very important to form the habits to attend theater and you know how it works when people come to the theater and see some crap or shit or whatever they say oh, so sorry i understand that it's culture but it's culture of our parents and they leave uh, and go to the cinema for yeah. instance or to to the games or to watch i don't know whatever to the to the clubs uh, I, I like it all, all, all I mentioned I love I love a lot but but theater now needs to something to make um, to 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 attract the new generation and we try aesthetically um, with a with a with a um, uh, material we stay we, we prepare for staging with a master classes, with special talks before the each production. For each production, we have our playwright who talking with the audience, explaining the productions, explaining each, the, for each show before each, each show, show. Each show. Be, look, why people of 17th of 20 years old uh, ha have no the, the, the Shakespeare. Or the, uh, or the Shakespeare world, world, or Ostrovsky, or Chekhov, or they, it, it's not their job to know the authors and to know the literature. We need to explain them. We need to involve them into, the, into it. And then they go and they watch the um, contemporary production with the people of the same ages on the stage, with the same ideas, with the same problems, with the, uh, something similar to them. And then they say, wow, it's my theater, it's a place I love. I, we created the theater, opened the whole day. So it's a center, it's not a theater of 
when the doors uh, are open to in the evening and uh, that's it. We, we are open the whole day. We have gallery inside. That's open. What happens in the day? They coming to have a coffee. They they coming to watch exhibitions because we have we we have few kind of galleries, small galleries inside. They so at ten o'clock or nine o'clock you can go there for coffee. Of course, they 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 have a place for kind of co working. They sitting sharing things or doing or just working in computer taking one cup of tea or coffee and nothing else so just take this place for for your needs and for uh we have we have no special artistic entrance we have only one entrance for the old people we have no artistic um canteen we have the same canteen for everyone. And after performance, the actors go in the foyer, they, they kind of join the people who watched the show and they're sitting uh, uh, in the coffee eating or singing or uh, drinking or whatever. So it's, it's a kind of open space. It's a new, new type um, of, of the theater probably, but I, 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 I know that it works and I, I understand that it, 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 it's, it's commer commercial uh, kind of financially successful mm. because it, it's, it, it, it's for new people, for, it's a new, for new generation. It's aesthetically close to them, uh, uh, topically and, and, and other points mm. that's it it's a, a great uh, a great artistic and community practice it would be like the public theater here in new york would be open at nine or ten yeah, yeah. Very, very important not to forget um, that the theater in general is not about our about expressing what we feel inside i mean artists but about if theater is about communicating it's com about communication about joining and uh, putting pe people together, nothing else. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that is that is remarkable and something we, especially here in the US, we have to, to think about um, how to make it a place um, of a community to open the space for coffee. There's a great hotel called the Ace Hotel. We have, for instance, we have a library, we have open library. Each person can take uh, and share the books so free they can take the book and take it away if, if they need or some people just bring their books they don't need at home and put it on the shelves and we have so such sharing sharing things sharing books for instance it's mm. idea for uh, we have a uh, boxes for for the homeless people and uh, uh, people who um, have something uh, um, they can share, they put their clothes in, into these boxes and uh, we then, uh, after, afterwards, we, we give it to, to the special funds who uh, pass it to, to the homeless people, for instance. Mm. So theater is also is a social center, community center is a, that communicates clearly what it is. Temper gallery, uh, gallery, it's gallery. Contemporary mm -hmm. artists should be part of contemporary theater. It's very important. Mm. Um, yeah, so we're coming um, slowly closer, but still I have some questions. Who do who formed you? What artists did you look up to? Whether it's writers or filmmakers or oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, writers, filmmakers, old generation of young actors, dancers. Oh. Can you say some names for us who we don't know? I mean, for sure, it's very little American because so little travels over there. Look, we, we have American in our troop. Look, yeah, American called uh, uh, Odin Byron, very good actor, amazing guy, uh, big friend of, of all of us, and uh, he became a star, movie star in uh, Russia, uh, and now he works as an actor as a principal actor in our theater we have Chinese girl so I, I, I understood that Russia is very international and 
uh, I al always was, I didn't like the kind of, um, let's say how to, I, I need, need to, to find the right words. Uh, the, the Russian theater was, was really very white and very cle clean in, in, in this thing. Uh, because for Russians, for a long time was quite strange that in Chekhov's place will, will, will participate some, I don't know, black people or uh, Asian people. It was strange. But America gave me a, a huge kind of kick and I changed my vision uh, because in, in my program I had amazing uh, black guys who played uh, in uh, Ostrovsky and Bulgakov plays and it was very good and I, I thought why not why shouldn't we work with the uh, all races with all people who live in Russia, let's say, and we have Chinese actress, very good Chinese actress. We have uh, guys from Eastern part of Russia. We have, so we, we don't pay any attention now and it's multiracial troupe. And it's, for me, it's very, very, very important. Yeah, that's, that's remarkable. I think also Germany can learn from that. And it's true, I think America does have an awareness um, of, you know, the significance and importance, you know, of uh, racial yeah, equality. It's, it's yes. kind of diversity, they racial diversity, yeah. artistic diversity, racial diversity. It's very important. I, I'm for it and I'm fighting for it. And for me, uh, it, it's probably our theater is one of the first in Russia who made steps yeah. ahead in, into, into mm -hmm. this direction. A bit, you know, like the Gorky in the old days uh, helped that in Berlin when I mean, they had this also kind of international. And also they said, we go on every play we do has Turkish subtitles. It would be like in New York, you say, well, every play has Spanish subtitles because not everybody speaks English perfectly and can understand. I don't understand often every sentence, you know, what, what they say on stage. But again, to go back, artists, like, is it to say, is it the Kafka, is it Brecht, is it uh, Tarkovsky? What, what formed you? What made you who you are? Uh, also your, your political, I know you fought for LGBT rights um, and you said, I'm also going to organize. What are your, who, who, who are your, um, what's your Goethe said, uh, uh, elected affinities, you know, your, 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 your uh, selected family? I think that uh, I am a child of perestroika because mm -hmm. perestroika is a very special period when uh, Soviet Union was destroyed and new Russia, new kind of idea of Russia appeared. Yeah. And it was a very little, very tiny gap between and the generation who came into this period gap uh, was uh, the generation was full of mm, new feelings, new hopes and freedom total freedom, even a, a little bit with a uh, smell of anarchy, <laughs> a little bit. But I think for artists, it was very, of high importance, of high value. Hmm. So the, the atmosphere of perestroika for- oh, Yeah, perestroika gave uh, us a feeling that everything is possible. Soviet Union was, a, a place where everything was impossible. And suddenly everything changed completely. And we understood that, okay, everything is possible. And this is a feeling and understanding of possibility of impossible things is very good for, for enlarging the, the uh, soul of the artists. Mm. Yeah, that is good. And let's hope that this time uh, of Corona, especially here in the US, which has hit so many people so hard, the numbers of unemployment, people out of business, no health insurances, um, it's, it's, it's stunning. But there is also hopefully um, something in there of a new beginning. Yesterday, Lucien was with us from the Invisible Dog and Performing Arts Center. He said, I came with no money from France. It was the financial crisis of 2008 where Lehman Brothers got uh, bankrupt, 
and there was a building, it was empty. I called the number because uh, I thought, let's see if I can rent it for free. And then he made a deal with the owner and created arts residency. Now it's one of the artistic spaces. So I hope something hopefully will also um, come out of, um, of this at this moment of change. We don't know yet. It's growing somewhere um, as your work did in that time of perestroika. So um, really, um, thank you. It's a last thing, you know, there are young artists also listening, uh, young directors or young also people who we want to encourage to be curators, producers, festival founders, what you have done. Uh, what, would, what do you say to them? What is important? What do they have to focus? What well, truth look, they I should keep in mind? Sure, sure. I don't want to be guru. I don't want yeah. to be some wise man. I'm, 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 I, need, I'm, I need a lot of advices for me as well. Mm -hmm. I have no, uh, I, I have a lot of questions. I have much more questions than, than answers. Yeah. So guys, there, there are no rules or regulations or kind of points in, 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 uh, in what to do, where to go, how to act. It's, we have the same experience. We have the same new experience and uh, we need to share it. We need to, we're, 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 now we are all on the zero level. We start from zero. We're on the same boat. We just need to help each other. There is no, uh, all, all experience we, I have or we had from the previous life doesn't work anymore. It's shit. It's probably, it's wrong weight. We need to get rid of it and to start to work um, from the very beginning, uh, getting the why things, why and uh, uh, important things from uh, Chekhov, from Dostoevsky, from Dreiser, from uh, uh, literature, from uh, philosopher, uh, artists, contemporary artists, um, and old fashioned artists, and other artists uh, but it's time to 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 collect the new identity of the artist in general uh, so i have no advices i have no ideas i need to to do the, this to, to to start from the from the very beginning with you let's do let's let's walk together mm. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a big step. It's a very serious one. And the, the advice is there is no advice. We have to start the mandala new, as you said. It's yeah, exactly. The, the, the previous yeah. mandala is destroyed, so let's start the new one. Yeah, and so it's an equal equal footing for everyone, no matter of age or experience. And so let's do things, and uh, and there is a possibility. And uh, this perhaps this idea of that perestroika, that atmosphere. Or, you know, um, that uh, that was in the air, that is so important. And let's hope we will catch some of it. Um, Kirill, really, really thank you. Um, for thank you, thank you for an amazing time. talk. Uh, and it's our first time and I hope yeah. not the last one. We'll miss, yeah, and for, normally I'm sure you would be in the Google theater in the seat. So it was very nice of you to to, to give up your time and say it's important. And, and we well, said the global dialogue is important and we need to listen what you also said. We have an interest, we listen to each other. We need to be in this together. If there are solutions, they are global ones. They are no longer Good. national. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. And uh, next week, we're going to have Abhishek Majumba and Anarupa Roy from India. The situation is devastating. It's most probably the darkest spot uh, in the world. Um, and... Um, and uh, and Anarupa Roy, her family has corona, she got corona. So we're gonna hear um, what is happening there. If it all works out, on Thursday, we have the Theater der Welt, the Festival of the World uh, producers um, uh, with us, Stefan Schmidtke, perhaps Olaf Krug, but for sure Bettina Miltz, uh, who is uh, uh, working within the German government, also supporting the arts. We're gonna give an update of what's happening there since, um, uh, uh, the festivals are provided for, artists are invited, but Germany has a complete lockdown 
nothing can happen. And um, the festival program has been announced in online and on books, but without dates, without times, nobody really knows what will happen. So we get a little update from there. And then on uh, Friday, uh, we join our great uh, student initiative, the Booth Award, honoring Diana Taylor from NYU for her life's work and her, the difference um, she has made. Thank you all for joining. Thanks, uh, HowlRound, for hosting us again. It was an important update to get uh, from Russia, from Moscow. And um, it was a, a, a great honor to have Carol with us. And what he said is meaningful. It is important and significant and uh, something we all can, uh, can learn from. So thank you and have a great uh, weekend. And I hope you will join us next week again. Thanks to HowlRound for hosting us. All my best.